We've been waiting for this moment for months. Our time has come. We've arrived in St. John Peter Port. We were buzzing with excitement. On arrival, we made our way through the main street and up the cobblestone path to our accommodation for the night. Here it is, Bailari. Fortunately for us, the pilgrim's office was right across the street and there was already a queue of pilgrims waiting to register. So we decided to leave our registration till the next morning. That night at the pilgrim's dinner, we met all the other excited pilgrims staying at Bailari. Just after 8 o'clock the next morning, we went to the pilgrim's office. Luckily for us, there was no queue. So we walked straight in, registered, received our first stamp, and now we were ready to go. <laughs> Sitting in the ditch, having a rest before we have to go up that hill there. Uh, there's a large rural hotel and nothing much further that I can see we're gonna see if we can get some breakfast there was nothing in Akareta yeah. it was dead so um, we're heading onwards see if we can find breakfast somewhere else really looking forward to a cup of coffee Stopped at a coffee shop to get two coffees with um, milk. Use my Spanish skills. This is what I got two coffees and a cup of tea. Don't know what I said. <laughs> Metros. I go with you, and the dinner is here. Tuesday, Yay! <laughs> this is the first little village we reached after about two and a half kilometers. Maruzabal. At 45, we've arrived in Puente Lorena. Just used my Spanish skills again, and this time I got what I wanted. Just leaving Puente Lorena. Uh, next town is about five kilometers away. We had a lovely croissant and coffee, and also a large orange juice. So we're ready to go again. We're about three kilometers out of Puente Lorena. And then we realized we forgot to get our Camino passport stamp. 
Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but it would have been nice for the memory. It just came from down there. And then we see this. Just outside of Estella, we've reached the wine fountain. Cheers, Dean. Cheers. Wine at 9 a.m. What now? Almost here. Oh, almost. Buen camino. Buen camino. This feels like a repeat of day one over the Pyrenees. It just doesn't end. It's still going up. <laughs> it's gone nine o'clock. We are heading into the city of Logrono. Yes. <laughs> and we left from Vienna at 7 a.m. this morning. Um, we are heading to Navarrete. And um, apparently we are in the wine region of Spain and it's pronounced something like Rioja. <laughs> Cute. Oh, oh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> we arrived in Navarrete. It's two fifteen in the afternoon. We've got 23 kilometers today and now looking for accommodation. Uh, yes, if, if he holds on and I hold on, uh, we will get to Santiago. Here you go, Jen. Hmm? What are you doing? Wine tasting. <laughs> we have to go, come on. <sighs> Time's ticking. <laughs> So the sun's out, we had to take everything off to cool down a bit and then we're gonna get going again. distance is Hornilas del Camino. We've done about 20 kilometers and we'll take a break over there. Well, it's been 31 kilometers and I don't see anything. Where is it? Where is it, Jenny? <laughs> 32. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I can see clearly 
now the pain has gone. I can see no more obstacles in my way. So we found our room for the night. Very nice. Can't wait. <laughs> Uh, we've been on the road for just over two weeks now. Anyway, it's Sunday, it's about 8.40 and we're only leaving Fontanas now. We're heading to Boadilla del Camino, it's about 29 kilometers. So we just spent some time in Castro Jerez and we had a break. It's 12 o'clock now. We still got 20 kilometers to go. So guess what that means, Jenny? What? <laughs> We're gonna have to put our turbo boost on. Okay. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Quite an eventful night. <laughs> Jenny uh, developed another blister on one of her toes. It became so big. Um, uh, we patched it up what, during the walk yesterday, and then when we went to take it off last night, the whole front of the I don't know the skin and the, the nail sort of started coming off. So this morning, Jenny's going to walk in her sandals. <laughs> to the next town which is from Mesta. it's about five kilometers away and then from there she's gonna get some proper medical attention stretches on the camino <laughs> okay so from here on i'll continue on my own and um, Jenny's finding a, a doctor, we know where it is, so she's gone the other way. And then after that, she'll find a taxi and then taxi to where we're staying tonight. Hopefully we can get that foot sorted and she can get a sandal to where to continue tomorrow. I just saw Jenny going past me in the taxi to where we're staying tonight. So I think she's got something sorted with her toe. And in the next time she's going to get some other shoes. <laughs> and I can see Jenny coming in the distance there. She obviously got the feet sorted. Hola! Hola. <laughs> We've done 400 meters. <laughs> and there's adjustments to be made. <laughs> it's going to be a long day. <laughs> One kilometer. <laughs> Another adjustment. <laughs> First day in Jenny's new shoes, we've done six kilometers. Um, it's already broken. Oh no, are we ever gonna get through this day? We've done 22 kilometers. <laughs> <Come to you. laughs> we still got about eight to go or seven to go, I'm not sure. But it's been a rough day. Feels like we've already done 30.
Hello. Buenas tardes. <laughs> We've arrived in Bergianos and we found our accommodation. <laughs> it's one o'clock and we've done 14 and a half kilometers. So we still got five and a half to go. Just having a break over here. We've arrived in Religos. Um, we've done 21 kilometers today. It's just after three o'clock now. And we will go and find our accommodation. Yay! And hopefully a cold beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we'll be staying tonight. Already a eventful morning. Anyway, um, it's Friday, day 24. We're leaving really close and we're going to Leon today. She's a freak, right? Jenny's feet is killing her. And I tried to convince her to get on a bus to Leon. But she doesn't want to do that. So, um, we've just left Ancela de las Mulas. Necesita un taxi? <laughs> Lo siento. We've got about nine kilometers to go to Leon. And I see those dark clouds over there. Hoping we'll get in before the rain comes. By the time we reached Leon, Jean's feet were covered in very painful blisters and we were actually worried that some of them might have become infected. After checking into accommodation, we made our way to a medical centre. The medical staff did an outstanding job and luckily there were no infections. After about two hours, Jean walked out with both feet dressed in bandage. The doctor suggested that she stop walking and return at a later stage to finish the Camino. We were absolutely devastated. Returning at a later stage was not an option, so we made the decision to take five days break in Leon to give Jean's feet time to recover. After the rest days, we were ready to take on the last 305 kilometers. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Today is Thursday, it's day 30, um, and we've done 10 kilometers. It's nine o'clock and um, we've left Leon so today we're going to San Martin del Camino, it's 25 kilometers, and uh, we've got about 15 to go. Today is Friday, it's the 2nd of June, and day 31. Yeah. <laughs> we left San Martin del Camino, about two kilometers back, um, and we're going to Astorga today. It's about 6.45 now and um, our first town will be in about six kilometers so then we can get our first coffee. Yay! <laughs> uh, last time we did our washing and hung it out to dry, went to town and got something to eat around five o'clock and the biggest thunderstorm came in. So none of the washing dried. Look here, Jenny's got all the washing hanging on her back. <laughs> so nice to see the landscape change again. Um, more crops, um, we've away from the main road and there's some hills uh, in front of us. So I'm thinking we probably on the last stretch of the Maceta and we'll be through it before we know it. Yay! <laughs> Gracias.
feed. <laughs> Why are we laughing, Jim? Where are you going? We don't know why we're laughing. <laughs> Okay, I think we're in the little street where our accommodation is. Oh, there was a steady climb, um, but the last two kilometers was quite intense of a rocky terrain. But yeah, glad we're here and it's 1.30 now. <laughs> I think that's enough to <laughs> Okay, so we reached the first village. It's called Von Sebadon. Um, it's five and a half kilometers and it's eight o'clock now. We're gonna stop and have a breakfast. See the terrain is quite rough, um, so we're going quite slow. Only done uh, 14 kilometers, so we've got another 10 or 11 to go. <laughs> we've eventually arrived in Molina Seca. It's 4:30, and. The downhill was just continuous. <laughs> and terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Monday, the 5th of June, it's day 34, and we're leaving Molina Seca, going to Cacabelos. It's 10.30, we've done seven kilometers, and um, we're in Ponferrado now. Huh? Do you feel like an ice cream? Yes. Would, you, would you like an ice cream? Yes. Okay. Ice cream. I don't know where I'm gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> this chick oh. is done. She's smelling like roses. I'm smelling like <laughs> the rest of us. Picking roses. <laughs> we are done. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll, see, you we'll see you there. Okay. Bye. Bye. Joe, how's that imaginary ice cream working out for you? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, 6th of June and day 35. Um, we left Cacabello this morning just uh, after 6.30 and we're going to... Vega de la Valcalce? No. Vega, Vega de la Valcalce. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> it's 8.40, we've done seven and a half kilometers and we're entering Villa Franca del Biazo. now we've done 15 kilometers and um, obviously a popular stop for the pilgrims here's our friends again <laughs> One Camino. so we've reached um, our end point for today Vega de Vacarse I think <laughs> is the name <laughs> so um, we're just gonna try and find our accommodation If you prefer, you can uh, book to go over the mountain on horseback. <laughs> over here is um, the village Laguna de Castilla, uh, and this is the last village in the Leon region. So uh, 
about a kilometer after this, we'll enter Galicia. We've arrived in Osobrero. It's 12.30 and we've done 12 kilometers. Um, I think the views from up here would have been spectacular, but we can't see a thing. It's, we're in the clouds. Anyway, we're looking forward to a good rest here, nine a nice warm shower and a cold lemon beer. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> How you doing, Jen? How are you doing? Almost there. Just a little bit more to go. Today is Saturday, it's the 10th of June, it's day 39 and um, we left Villay this morning at 7 o'clock. It's now just after 8 o'clock and we've done five and a half kilometers. Uh, we're heading to Port Camarden, which is 18 kilometers today and um, it's a lovely morning, it's overcast so not too hot. Five days left. Um, I can't believe it's almost over. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> today is Monday, it's the 12th of June, day 41. And today we're walking from Palas de Rey, going to um, Arzua. 29 kilometers and um, it's 7.30 now. We left at quarter to seven this morning. We've done, oosh. <laughs> We've done two and a half kilometers. Here's the last little village we're going through today before we get to Arzua. This is called um, Ribadisu. We've got about two and a half kilometers and a steep uphill to get to Arzua. We've got about one and a half kilometers to go and it's coming down now. So we just uh, stop quickly. I know hoping it will pass quickly before we carry on. 
rain died down a little bit. So uh, we're trying to move it to get to our destination. Decided. Last day, 20 kilometers, and um, it's day 43, the 14th of June. Um, and this morning we left around about 6:30. 6:30. 6:30, and it's about 7:30 now. We've done about four kilometers. We've got Linda walking with us today. Hi. Linda from Texas. Hi. <laughs> very special. We met Linda the very first night um, in Saint Jean Peter Port and uh, we stayed in the same old barracky and we met up again last night and um, she's walking with us today so i am so blessed to know these ladies they're amazing <laughs> great <laughs> they make the trail so much easier to go on <laughs> <laughs> that's great it's lovely to walk with you anyway we're gonna stop here quickly and uh, maybe have a coffee have a day ciao see you guys see you later. <laughs> The guidebook says this is the last uphill we're gonna get and there's a tradition that you have to run up this hill uh, and if you're in a group the first person that gets to the top is the king and um, Jenny and, Lind and Linda said no way they're joining me <laughs> so I'm doing it go Five kilometers to go. This feels like the longest kilometer ever. It does. <laughs> Doesn't it? Are we there yet? <laughs> Are we getting closer? <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> How much longer can we get there? <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello! <laughs> We've arrived in Santiago de Compostela, uh, 21 kilometers today, it's 2 o'clock now and uh, we're just waiting to go through uh, into the square, we're going through there. Look at that at the back. What happened to Linda? <laughs> 